Hello and welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm John Bachman. Joining us now via Skype is pollster John Zogby here to talk about the latest results from the Newsmax Zogby uh, poll of Florida. John, good to be with you today. Hey, same here, John. All right, so we're seeing a little bit of a trend here. President Obama now leading Governor Romney in the state of Florida. Uh, President Obama has 48 percent to Governor Romney's 41 percent. Uh, that number uh, seems to be favoring President Obama, at least in the trend line. What do you think is uh, having the biggest impact on President Obama's uh, sort of turnaround from the first presidential debate? Well, the, the second presidential debate. Uh, you know, first of all, I do believe that the vice presidential debate uh, stopped some of President Obama's bleeding. Um, not enough to, to move him into any kind of lead, but it at least stopped uh, what had been perceived to be in the numbers of free fall. And then the president had a stronger second debate by most accounts, including my own. I think he won that debate. But make no mistake about it, these, these are still close. But what we're seeing here in Florida is that with, with each day of our tracking, that the president appears to be doing better among independents, that, that in fact he's opened up a significant double-digit lead from the first day, and of course that's extremely important. Uh, uh, another important demographic that you have here in the poll are Hispanics. Uh, president Obama leads 67 percent to 23 uh, percent. Is there any way Romney can close that gap because that's a very important demographic to deciding the state of Florida? It, it sure is. Um, you, you know, yeah, even if we were to segment out, which we have the small number in our poll of Cuban Americans, that's the one Hispanic group, you know, that's an opportunity for the GOP. Uh, we find that, that uh, the, today's Cuban American voter is actually um, uh, younger, uh, uh, more moderate, than the older Cuban voter, and in fact, younger Cubans are tilting independent and Democrat. So the the shorter answer to your question is, I think there's very little that, that Governor Romney can do to appeal to Hispanics. Now, despite his lead in the overall numbers, there are still some numbers that could be perceived as troubling for President Obama. Um, only 24 percent of the people surveyed said they, they, they strongly approve of the president's job. Uh, give him a job approval of just 24 percent for strongly approved, and uh, for overall he is just 48 percent approval. So he's kind of upside down there, uh, but still 45 percent say they disapprove of the president's job rating. Um, is that uh, kind of in line with what we're seeing in the overall numbers? Uh, it is. Look, the the president is not popular. You know, his overall approval number just hit 50 percent in, in Florida, 46 percent disapprove. And as you point out, the intensity level, the strongly approve, uh, is, is less than one in four. You know, in another barometric reading, does the president deserve to be reelected or not? When we started the polling in Florida, he was upside down. Moore said it was time for someone new then said he deserved re-election, but that's evolved now to 46% who say that he deserves to be re-elected, 43, it's time for someone new. But those are still not bragging numbers. This president does not have a lock on Florida. He's in better shape right now than, than Romney, but this can close. This has been a, a pretty fluid uh, polling cycle for us and for other pollsters. Oh, certainly has been. That, that's uh, one thing that we've heard uh, across the country is how fluid these numbers seem to be. Let's let's dive into the uh, Senate race in Florida. Very important. Uh, not the best news here for Connie Mack. Uh, Bill Nelson has a lead 45 percent to 32 uh, percent, and the numbers are kind of going away from Mack. Any, any idea on what's contributing to that? Uh, the fact that Connie Mack just does not seem to be catching on, you know, the first day of polling, it was a, a nine-point lead. It was 44, Nelson, 35, Mac. Not good numbers at all for, for Mac, but, you know, 44% for a longtime incumbent um, is troubling. But what we've seen is Nelson holding steady, in fact, even gaining a point or two along the way. Mac actually going in the opposite direction. Um, you know, certainly, John, no predictions from me. Anything can happen. But, uh, you know, a, a, a challenger at this point stuck with about one-third support in the state is, is problematic. 
Uh, as you said, anything can happen. That's why we'll continue to watch these polls. John, Bo John Zogby, pollster, and uh, helping us out with the Newsmax Zogby, Zogby poll. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, John.